Hmm. Chris, I found Danita. I think she's killing all the butterflies. It's not Danita. The butterflies are just doing their natural butterfly thing. It's their life cycle. But we've got to rescue them so they can lay eggs and keep that life cycle going. And I've got a plan that might work. Do not die on me now. I need living butterfly barrettes. Do you hear me? Living! At least they're easier to catch now. Not as easy as you are. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me out of here! You kept trying to net these monarchs. Now it's your turn. <sighs> but I still have the butterflies. How are you going to get them? Like this? Milkweed, anyone? <laughs> Go lay your eggs, beautiful butterflies! Follow us! We know of a great milkweed patch. No! No, no! Get back here with my butterflies! Stop! Whose bad idea were butterfly barrettes anyway? Don't answer that. Ah, the thing every monarch needs to lay its eggs a milkweed patch. And when they hatch, those milkweed-eating caterpillars of yours will have a feast! Wow, the life cycle of the migrating monarch is saved! So let me get this straight, guys. The butterflies that live during the fall migrate 4,800 kilometers to Mexico to escape the cold. And when they get to their secret forest, they hibernate. Then they wake up in the spring, just as the milkweed is starting to grow back. But they don't make it all the way home. It's their sons and daughters who will finish the trip. They lay eggs before they die that will hatch into caterpillars. The caterpillar eats and eats, forms a chrysalis, and finally becomes a butterfly. The sons and daughters of those original butterflies will continue the journey home. That is one incredible life story. The new generation of monarchs is here. Safe and sound and heading north. Look at them go! Am I the first one here? <gasps> Are you gonna serve that endangered mushroom salad that you served at the Finding Your Inner Villain seminar? I never cooked the same dish twice. Never. There it is! Hey guys, do your thing! <gasps> yes, honey badger! Aw, I got the little bitty birdie. Yeah, to the creature rescue! Whoa, cool. That's the toughest creature power suit yet. Well, at least I have a bird's eye view. Hold it, Gourmand. Let that honey badger go. Oh, I'll let the honey badger go if you can handle my pastry dough. <laughs> Do you really think globs of dough can hold back the ferocious powers of the honey badger? Yes, I do. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! I didn't food proof it. If I can just activate the auto clean restart sequence. Hey, why'd you invite them? What kind of rescue can a little songbird do? I'm just a honey guide. Martin, how can you be out for a little flyabout sing song when Chris and Aviva are all doughed up and a honey badger is about to get baked? Now that's what I call distracted. Cookie, you got it all wrong. I'm not distracted. I am harnessing the power of the honey guide to call out a cavalry of the toughest animals in Africa. And I'm taking them all out to dinner at Gourmand's. Hello, Gourmand. Just step away from the honey badger. Nice and easy. I've got the place surrounded. Oh, with a flock of little birdie men like you? Taste this. Yeah. Woo. 
Hey! It's not me you have to worry about. It's them. Oh, this is gonna be good. Get out of my kitchen! Don't turn your back on me! Hold your breath! Delicious? Nope, it is one stinky secret weapon. Should I put it in the power suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that tickles. <laughs> yeah, nice work, honey badgers. Who would have thought exciting, enchanting, enlightening, and now evening wear? Flash tabulous! Not flash tabulous. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very pretty. Tortuga, we have a problem. Danita's put all the captured fireflies in suspended animation including myself, and built a dress out of them. How much time do we have? Not long. She's almost ready to leave her mansion. Hurry! Hang in there, bro. I'll be there as soon as I can. Don't move. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't resist. You've got to hurry, CK. If she gets into that limo and drives off, we'll lose her. You'll never be able to keep up. Fireflies just don't fly that fast. Target located. Plan C, here we go. What is that? Somebody stole my one-of-a-kind Firefly fashion idea? Mm -hmm. Chris Kratt? How dare you? Davio, turn him off now. Jailbreak. My plan worked. Your plan? I had to rescue you from your plan. That was my plan. Plan D. And you did a great job, bro. Yeah, right. I'll race you home. Last one back is a slimy glowworm. I kind of thought they were cute. Aviva, I washed my hair like 84 times and still can't get this color out. <gasps> hey, I got two. <laughs> nice. How about a little catch and release then? Okay, it's time to let the fireflies go. Bye-bye, fireflies. Be free. That's the Wild Kratz way. Hey, look! The fireflies are syncing up their blink patterns. <laughs> One arctic pearl coming up, Donita. Thanks to my Insta-Freeze device, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. I slow lockdown. Let's see them get out of this one. You're trapped, wild rats, and I've got the baby seal thingy. Give me the pearl. <laughs> oh, we've only got 20 seconds left of air. And this ice, it's 20 centimeters thick. We can't break through it. That's thick enough to hold a two and a half ton truck. 
You're the best bro I ever had, Martin. Ten seconds, nine, eight. Back at you, Chris. Four, three. Unbelievable. Ice smashing heads. They're free. Woo. Oh, lucky for us, a creature that finds its food under the ice has a built-in helmet that helps it bust right back after lunch. A uh, big whoop. I've still got the tubby baby. Give me the pearl. Uh, Zach, you really don't want to be holding Blobby right now. He's been eating clams all day. Plus, it's not a good idea to get between a wild animal mom and her baby. <laughs> oh, look at the time. I better make like a pearl and roll. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> oh, cute. Ah, uh, looks like.